We're going to be looking at literal equations, which we'll define on the first page here. So it says literal equations. These are equations that contain two or more variables. So, so you've seen a lot of uh, literal equations in your math lives. Um, they, sometimes they have a lot of variables. Sometimes they only have two variables, right? So in any, an example could look something like this. Y plus X plus 3A equals 10, right? So anything that has multiple variables in it is going to be a literal equation. And so what we're going to do here is we're just going to use inverse operations to, to solve for a variable, to isolate a variable, which means to get it by itself. So in this first example, they're asking you to solve for H. So they want us to isolate uh, this equation, so isolate H in this equation. So I'll zoom in a little bit here. Um, and we're just going to use inverse operations to do that. So in this case, we're trying to get H by itself. Right now we're multiplying by L and W, and the inverse of L, of multiplying, is dividing. So I'm going to go ahead and divide by L and W. And I'll do that on the other side as well. And so then these will cancel out here, and I just get H equals capital V over L W. And that's all they're trying to get you to do right now. Um, you know, right now we're just kind of practicing our um, algebra skills, so solving for variables, isolating variables here, um, because it's going to be important as we move into more real-world problems here. Let's go to letter B. This next one, they're asking me to solve for C, which means I want to get rid of A and I want to get rid of B. These are positive variables over here, so to get rid of them, I'm going to subtract A and I'm going to subtract B using those inverse operations. That means I have to do that to the other side as well. So subtract A, subtract B on the other side. Um, notice on the left now we have P, A, and B. Those are all different variables, so we can't put them together. So I'm just going to write them separately here, and those will equal C. And that's it. All right, moving on to example C here. Um, for this one, we're solving for B, so we want to get B by itself. We're trying to isolate B. Um, this one has a fraction, so we can kind of use that method before we were fraction bombing, right? We're getting rid of that 2 that's in the denominator. So right now we're dividing by 2 to get rid of that. I'm going to multiply by 2. That means I have to multiply the other side by 2 as well. So that gives me 2a equals, these 2s are going to cancel out and just leave me 1 times bh. And again, I'm solving for B, right? So I want to get rid of H. So I'm going to divide by H. And then I'm just left with B equals 2A over H. All right, so that's letter C. Keep moving here. We'll go to letter D. Um, for this one, we're solving for E. That means I want to get rid of R. Right now, R is in the denominator. We're dividing by R. So to get rid of it, just like we did with the 2, I'm going to go ahead and multiply by R. And that means i got to multiply the other side by R. So that leaves me R times I equals E. And that's it. And we'll keep moving here. We'll go to letter E. For this one, we're solving for H. Okay, this one gets a little bit trickier. It's got quite a bit going on here. So we're going to solve for H. I want you to notice first that, again, I have the fraction here. And then this is all one term here, right? Just kind of one piece because it's multiplication. One half times H times that quantity of the Bs, B1 plus B2. So when I want to get rid of 2 on the bottom here, I just need to multiply by 2 one time, and then I need to multiply by 2 on the other side as well. So these 2s are going to cancel out, and I get 2A equals H B1 plus B2. 
Okay, and, and remember, I'm trying to solve for h, right? I want to get h by itself. So sometimes students will start to distribute here because that's what we're used to doing when we have these parentheses. But that's actually not what we want to do right now because we want to get h by itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by this whole quantity, this whole set of parentheses, b1 plus b2, right? Because that's all grouped together. So I'm just treating it as one big piece here. And then I have to do that to the other side. And notice I'm dividing because right now it's h times those set of parentheses. So that's why I'm dividing by that set of parentheses. Okay, those will cancel out here and they leave me 2a over the quantity b1 plus b2 equals h. And we'll move on over to letter f. Hey, this one wants me to solve for w, so we're trying to get w by itself. That means I want to get rid of this 2l that's here. All right, so I'm going to get rid of that 2l. That's a positive 2l, so I'm going to subtract 2l. That means I'm going to subtract 2l to the other side. So I get p minus 2l equals, well, we still have 2w left over there. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and divide by 2. And that means I'm going to divide this whole thing by 2. And so then I end up with P minus 2L all over 2 equals W. Okay. And I think your homework will let you leave it like this, although we could simplify a little bit more. Because when I have the 2 underneath here in the denominator, that's actually like P over 2 minus 2L over 2, right? It's actually a denominator for both of those pieces. And then you might be able to recognize what's going to happen here is since we have a 2 on the top and a 2 on the bottom, that piece will simplify. And I'll just be left with P over 2 minus L equals W. So that would be fully simplified. I actually think you're HRW homework lets you submit an answer like that one, that top one. All right. Um, and then I did actually want to go through one more problem here. Um, so let me see. So let's do this. I'm going to flip back here and we're going to go solve. And let's go with uh, X equals a over b and we're going to say solve for b so this one's kind of tricky because it's asking us to solve for b and if you notice b is actually in the denominator and so the first step is to get it to the top right get it into the numerator so i'm going to, what i'm going to do is i'm going to multiply both sides by b So then these b's are going to cancel out here, and I'm left with bx equals a. And remember, we're solving for b, so now that I've moved b up into the numerator, I can get rid of whatever's next to it. In this case, I can get rid of x, so I'm going to divide by x to both sides, and I'm left with b equals a over x. That one's always kind of tricky because this the variable that we're solving for is in the denominator to start. So the first step is actually to move it up with that multiplication, and then we can go ahead and solve for it, and then we're done.